Hey guys, Lucas here from Fitcher Surplus, and today we're going to take a look at the current issue combat shirt and the you know early first generation combat shirt used in the U.S. military. Look at them side by side. Look at what features are good for you, and you know you can pick out which one's best for your use. So first off, we got the early gen where it's more. It doesn't really fit the more modern style combat shirt look. Um, it's still protective. It's going to be fire resistant. You got good pockets for patches and your ID fields over on both shoulders, and the shirt body is really breathable and you're gonna be able to wear this under kit and breathe just fine, and it's gonna do you a good job. Um, the, the sleeves themselves are in a more stretchy, stretchy uh, not so much shirt-like material to the feel, but they're gonna be, they're gonna last you and they're gonna wear well. On the elbows, it's reinforced with a basketball type, like rubberized dot material. So you have a little extra grip when you're in the prone, and it's gonna, you know, kind of reinforce that, that elbow when you really hit the ground. And you have adjustable sleeve cuffs. So that's the first generation one. Um, the biggest detractor, I would think, is the turtleneck collar. Now that's gonna help protect you if you have kit on, especially if we're in a full neck protection, like an IOTV, or even if you're rocking an IVA still, um, or even rocking the modern gear that has you know neck protection. That's definitely gonna be there and it's gonna help stay up. It's always gonna stay up and protect your neck from getting rubbed too hard. So now let's compare that to the current issue one. Now this one has more of a you know current look to it. Biggest thing is, it's got that quarter zip collar. So if you don't want that turtleneck, you can zip it down, breathe a little bit, and you can fold that neck down and look a little more, more better, <laughs> uh, more professional at the end of the day. The uh, sleeve material feels more shirt-like. It's still flame resistant, so you still get that good protective quality to it. And then on the shoulders, again, you got hook and loop fields for all your ID patches. The same type of elbow reinforcement and the same type of adjustable sleeves. So right there, you know, they kind of match, they're the same, but the material changed a little bit. In the shirt body, it's still breathable. You got a good chest section in both, where right there is gonna breathe real well, and that knitted kind of jersey material for breathable breathability across the front, belly, and the back. And then the, the shirt-like material comes down a little further because of the zipper, they had to reinforce it better. So yeah, so the major difference is gonna be the collar. Now that's kind of going on looks, uh, more than use necessarily, whereas this one's going to definitely stand up always when you're wearing a kit, where this one can stand up just fine too when it's zipped up. So the biggest difference again is the look of the two when you're just looking at them straight up, um, whereas do you want a turtleneck or do you want a zip collar? Otherwise, they're realistically more or less the same, um, but that is a definite improvement that is visual right off the bat. Um, so yeah, those are the two combat shirts used in the U.S. military or U.S. Army specifically. And um, they definitely got both their you know, goods, a little bit of bads. So make sure to head on to pick one out, and listen to what you think.